Welcome back. This is my daily forecast for the foreign exchange market. We're going to look at uh, five different uh, currency pairs and this will be the daily forecast for 22nd of September 2020. And as we speak, um, the market technically is falling apart, um, especially as uh, the foreign exchange market because the US dollar, which has been depreciating uh, for uh, several weeks now or months uh, is now uh, appreciating and that of course has significant effect on most of these pairs as they are um, the US dollar is basically included so if you want to support this channel you're welcome to support or subscribe to our channel uh, click the like button and the bell button in order to see our newest videos and now I'm going to start doing daily forecasts for uh, foreign exchange the indexes, uh, S&P 500, the NASDAQ, and also the commodities market and the, the precious uh, gold market. Uh, so, or precious metal market, I was supposed to say. So, at the moment, we are looking at the Aussie US dollar, and the Aussie US dollar has been on a bull run for quite some time now, all the way back to um, March, when it basically bottomed at 0.55, and uh, we topped at, um, at 0 0.74. Um, we can see now for the day, we have broken the 50 moving average. Uh, the uh, uh, 20 exponential moving average has been um, basically a major support for several months now. And the same goes for the 40 exponential moving average. But uh, we have broken through the 50 moving average. If we were to close below the 50 moving average, and see uh, a candlestick that is basically underneath here, full candlestick next to tomorrow session, then that will indicate that will go much lower from here. Um, it all depends on the appreciation of the US dollar. Um, so just um, we have to basically see. If we look at the technical indicators, uh, the MACD is, is basically pointing straight down, indicating uh, uh, negative momentum the same goes for the rsi we're not oversold even that close we are 41 uh, we need to go to below 30 before we are basically oversold so we have a lot of room to cover this could mean that we go all the way down to this uh, 100 uh, moving average which is around uh, 0.70 uh, if you look at the bullish band uh, we are at the bottom of the bullish band so this could indicate that we'll go uh, quite lower. Usually it bounces from this Bollinger Band. So we'll probably see tomorrow a um, day where we bounce and then we go lower from here. Uh, because the stochastic is very negative. We went uh, above the line and then we broke down absolutely, uh, really, really aggressively. And this is not a good sign. If we close below the 50 moving average, this may indicate that we'll go much, much lower. We haven't had um, this big of a sell-off sell um, all the way back uh, here, which is basically in in uh, in, in June. Uh, so, so um, yeah, um, market has to come down so at some point. So. At this point, I'm still not a uh, seller of this market. I would wait until we basically get down to the 50, uh, 200, 100 moving average to see whether or not we bounce from here. Uh, so I'm not a seller. I will just technically buy the dips. If we look at the Great British Pound, the US dollar, the same situation here. We broke down two weeks ago quite significantly due to the Brexit news. Then we had quite a good run uh, last week, and now we basically broke down again. So this is just a horrible market uh, for several reasons. Uh, probably mainly uh, Brexit because it makes it almost impossible to trade this currency pair. And we can have good news one day, bad news one day, it will fluctuate uh, probably several percent uh, uh, up and down. So it, it's really unpredictable. Um, and then we also have the coronavirus problem in the United, in the United Kingdom. Uh, and the United States, and now we also have the uh, US dollar appreciating, uh, which will basically send this market 
significantly lower. I would not be surprised if we broke the support area here and we also uh, go uh, did and retested this area which is around uh, 12 uh, 24 and if we broke down level we will go down to uh, 12 um, 10 and if that breaks we'll go to these lows here in the, in the um, way back in the middle of March um, that is realistic because the United Kingdom's economy is doing really badly and uh, Brexit will also um, be a thorn in the side of the United Kingdom's economy for several years to come. So, if we look at the uh, Euro in the, and the United States dollar, same thing here. It, it has been on a very nice bullish run. And this was all due to the uh, depreciation of the US dollar. It's not because the, the uh, Europe's economy is doing well or anything. Uh, or the central banks in, or the ACB in, the, in Europe hasn't been printing uh, euros. It's basically because of the depreciation of the US dollar. Now that the US dollar is appreciating again, then we basically have this breakdown. We had a, bullish, uh, we had a very bullish flag here, which basically sent this market much higher. Uh, I expected this to be our second bullish flag in order to send this market even higher. But we ran into resistant at this level, which is at 12.01. Uh, and now we have broken through the 50 moving average, the, the 40 exponential moving average, and 20 exponential moving average. And we are also, we also broke, we are testing this area here, which is at 11.71. So if we break through there, we'll go all the way down to this uh, moving average, which is at, at uh, 100 which is the 100 moving average which is at 11 and 56 and after that we have the 150 and the 200 moving average all the way all the way down here this area here should be significant support um so that in between this area here so uh it'll be exciting to see whether or not we manage to break through there it depends on how how um the US dollar will appreciate in the coming uh, the coming days or probably also weeks. If you look at the technical indicators and the MACD is pointing downwards, the same goes for the RSI. Um, all indicators are pointing that will go much lower from here. Also the stochastic and uh, also the Bollinger Band are it's basically really um, bearish momentum in this market at the moment. If you look at the US dollar yen, uh, we did rally, uh, we did break down significantly because we ran into resistance at the, the 20, no, 40 exponential moving average uh, last week, uh, but today we did rally and then break down quite significantly. Um, we did also break this support area, so if we were to close below this area here, we may see this market go significantly lower. Uh, it may go all the way down to this area here, which is at 101. Um, that probably won't happen uh, in the short run. And the reason why I say that is because the technical indicators are indicating that we are going higher before we are going lower. Uh, you could also make the make the argument that we are trading within this area here uh, the highs of around 107 and to the lows of uh, around uh, 104 um, that is possible but if you look at the technical indicators then the rsi it's significantly oversold and is pointing upwards uh, the stochastic also just crossed the signal line in, and, and it's going to go uh, upwards again. Uh, we reached the bottom of the Bollinger Band, crossed it, and we will most likely go higher from here. Um, and we do go higher from here. Um, the 20 exponential moving average will be support 105. And then we have the 50 moving average at 105.8. So, yeah, expect us to go 
up and retest these moving averages and then go continue uh, downwards, most likely. If we were to break through these, then the green line, which is the 100 exponential moving average uh, at uh, 106 will be resistant. If you look at US dollar, Canadian dollar, we were trading in this, signal, uh, this um, channel for several months. We broke through a couple of weeks ago, and now we are basically uh, trending upwards. Um, it will be exciting to see whether or not we get close to the 100 moving average. Uh, the technology indicators are indicating that we are going higher. We're not overbought at this point, but they are very, very bullish. Uh, so we may go all the way to uh, 1339 uh, uh, before we have a pullback and then and go higher from here. Um, if this is a trend reversal, maybe I probably need a few more days or probably two weeks in order to see whether or not the trend has um, has basically changed. So, hope you find this video uh, helpful. You're welcome to support the channel by subscribing and hitting the uh, like button and bell button. And uh, good luck trading and thank you very much.